everyone, this is David Hirsch with another word on the Lodge Highway. And I am in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania this morning. And I saw this old barn. I was actually uh, about to take a walk down to a little river. I thought I saw somebody fishing down there. And in fact, I will when we're done. And I'm going to try to share the Lord's love with him by opening up a conversation. I know God will do it. But I saw this old barn on the way down there. And I hope you can see it because without doubt, my friends, this barn has been abandoned. I mean, it is just here. It is alone. And uh, there is no longer any activity there whatsoever other than uh, obviously the growing up of shrubbery and hedges and old things left around and just, it's just been left. And I couldn't help but determine that I wanted to talk to you this morning about that reality taking place in the lives of people. You know, there are many people in this life who feel abandoned. Uh, they come from many different walks of life. It could be someone in a nursing home. Uh, it could be a widow. It could be somebody in your own neighborhood that uh, is just there. No more family. Uh, nobody visiting. Nobody talking with them. There are people that are just simply living completely uh, alone in this life. And I think that it's imperative that we as believers, first and foremost, seek them out. Whether it's in nursing home ministry, or whether it is in outreach with our church to uh, go from home to home, or uh, uh, community to community with an outreach uh, team. Uh, we do concerts and uh, flyer neighborhoods and advertising and all that we can possibly do to get people out to the free events that we do uh, and I know that we have other people that are uh, in the nursing homes and the hospital rooms and all of the above actually and I'm thankful for that and I think that that's something that we ought to be wholeheartedly and aggressively uh, aggressively involved in uh, people are abandoned they're left alone and uh, the shrubbery of despair grows up around their lives and uh, look at what's just left and this is how they feel many times and so we need to aggressively seek them out and then secondly pray for them pray for them there may be many that you'll never meet in fact there will be millions all over the world take some time to pray for the abandoned for the neglected for the forgotten in our society and uh, if you are watching this and you feel perhaps like you are among them, I want to say to you that the Word of God is clear concerning God's love and God's everlasting faithfulness. The Scripture says, Though my Father forget me, the Lord will never forsake me. The Lord tells us, Even if your own mother was to forget you, I will never forget you. For, uh, he says, Look, I have written you on the palms of my hand think about the cross when you hear that scripture and God also tells us that he has loved us with an everlasting love and I want you to know right now if you feel alone and abandoned many many years ago in my life before I met the Lord Jesus before I was married I was there I was alone I was uh, left basically on my own uh, I guess to my own doing in many ways because I was a runaway from uh, a very, very young age. But I know what it is to feel alone, to be alone, to feel completely abandoned. I remember one day in a, a drug-motivated stupor, a very young man uh, living in some room somewhere in New England. I don't even remember where it was or how I got there. I just remembered looking up at the ceiling from an old mattress on the floor saying, is this it for me? Is this going to be my life alone forever? And boy, did God have other plans. So I want to let you know that God is faithful. Now, though all others may forsake you, God will never forsake you. But, you know, <clears throat> we feel forsaken. But if you get plugged into a church ministry, a spirit-filled church that loves the Lord Jesus Christ, you will find that you will never be forsaken again. You'll find brothers and sisters in Christ who love you, who will uh, nurture you, embrace you, 
uh, cook for you, want to talk to you, invite you here and there, and uh, it'll be a life well lived because we then become attached to the body of Christ. We become part of his family and we're never abandoned again. So seek the Lord if this message was for you. If not, then serve the Lord and be a part of reaching those who have been left by the side of the road, literally, for dead, like this old barn. Well, David Hurst with another word on the Lost Highway. Uh, we love you very much, and always remember, God's love never fails. God bless you.